Hello YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to Mass Effect 2 episode 10 and today we're going to do a ship tour once again but not the one where we actually meet people more like a crew talk episode like I've done in the previous Let's Play of Mass Effect 1 We're gonna see how everyone's doing and also talk to our newest member, Morden Solis also check on Zaid and Kasumi who have been who we have recruited previously uh, in this Let's Play So without further ado, let's feed the fish, say hi to Squeaky All right, and head downstairs. Now, first let's go to the CSE and talk to Joker, Jacob, and Modern Solus, who is in the tech lab, and then also see if we can actually upgrade a few things with the resources we have gathered and with the update maps, I guess, or schematics, you could say. So let's run to the front of the ship and talk to Joker. Badly. I heard about Ferris Fields. Any news on your brother? He's gone. They're all gone. But we'll get them back. Shepard and Lawson are on it. And we'll get your brother back. And make sure the collectors pay for taking him. Looks like we lost another colony. Alright, Joker. Commander. How are things in the cockpit? I assume everything's going well up here. I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day-to-day. -day. <laughs> it's got to mute. Use it. If you don't want to hear it, turn the damn sound off. Well, it doesn't change anything. It's still watching. Like some creepy kid staring at the back of your head in comp side. You just want to <laughs> punch him, but he's special and he sets fires or something. Bruh. Okay, a little too far there, but you know what I mean. <laughs> your problem, not mine. Thanks. I'll remember this. All right. So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. As for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. Fair enough, the squad. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, I would never say anything against Miranda and expect to survive the reprisal. Bro. I like Kasumi, but why do I feel like I need to check the Citadel for parts she may have pawned? It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading around. All right. I talked about that, I think, last a few times in the episode. I joke I always give you the opinion of two squad mates you go out with. Let's talk about the good old days. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? <laughs> yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. True enough. We were stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. But the old crew was nice. What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. Damn them. You were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. All right, well, let's keep it together this time. I'll see you around, Joker. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Yep, yeah. okay. A lot more interaction than in the first game. In the first game, Joker would give you one or two liners for the mission that you were on. Other than that, you, you could obviously investigate and about his disease and where he's from and so on. But after that, there wasn't anything new. Jacob, what's up? Oh, but J um, Joker's lines do evolve over time. The more missions you do and the more you talk to him uh, and you ask him how are things in the cockpit, he'll have different lines every single time. Commander, can I help you with something? You have Normandy upgrades? Any thoughts on how to prepare against the Collectors? They spec this ship to the original Normandy, but you were there. The Collectors cut her like butter. This armor just isn't top of the line anymore. That's true. We'll die if we don't upgrade. Alliance had some new toys in Secret Dev before I left. I could try and pull a few favors. And this, the reason why I went straight to that is because this dialogue option, you unlock it with every single squad mate you can take out, except Kasumi and Zaid, I believe. And it's either upgrades for the Normandy or for themselves, which make them more useful in the missions or make the Normandy more stronger. So in this case, it is armor. And we have enough palladium, palladium to actually upgrade it. So let's research it and we can do that. Thanks to the fact that we have the tech lab unlocked and that we have more than with us now. Let's go back here. Commander, can I help you with something? So we, we already talked about this, uh, or we actually haven't talked about that yet. So let's normally upgrades. Any thoughts on how to prepare against the collector? I'm just going to press that so that it goes away. Available. The rest is outside my expertise, Commander. Because I hate to see it there, even though I asked him. All right, let's talk about you. I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. Have to say you run this ship tight and we're getting things done. We keep on track and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. 
I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. True enough. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking in? Mm, don't be so formal. You're a soldier like me. Uh. I like to know my crew. Forget procedure. Tell me about yourself. Informal, huh? Everything's in my file. Ex-Alliance like you, no Reapers or anything, mm. but I got swept under the rug too. Damn. The more good you do, the less they want to admit that something needed doing. So what did you do? What was your proudest career moment? The job I'm proudest of wasn't for the Alliance. Nobody really knows about it. A Batarian group was plotting to release a weaponized virus and kill the Council. Damn. Miranda and I stopped it. Nice. Strange that it wasn't bigger news. The real work doesn't get publicized, you know that. They say it's better that people don't know how fragile the system is or how close the bad guys can get. True. So, it never happened. Like you and the Reaper. And that's why I'm here. And the only reason Cerberus would stop a Batarian group of releasing a virus of killing the Council is because that attack is then aimed at, say, the human part of the Council. And then they'd probably try to blame it on the humans or something. And you joined Cerberus? What led you to Cerberus? The Alliance sidelined me after Eden Prime. Ended up on a job with Miranda that Cerberus treated like an audition. And here I am. Okay. You don't seem like a results at all costs kind of guy. Cerberus history doesn't bother you? The Alliance is all politics. Somebody has to take down the bad people. Cerberus keeps that line, I'm on their side. Hmm. I do like that you took a stand though, that you're open about the fact that you don't trust the Lucy man. You make no apologies for doing what you had to. I admire that. I couldn't go back to the Alliance, not after the cover-up. They did the same to you. General Public never knew you were dead or heard the real story of the Citadel. True. Did you know they used you on recruitment ads? You were the human ideal for like six months. Then they replaced you with a composite image they invented. Damn. Guess you didn't focus test right. Perfect example of humanity and they still dumped you. <laughs> Thanks for thinking of me. You think I'm perfect? You're always this depressing. So I think um, the first... The, this one and that one is a flirt option, so I'm just gonna go, you always this depressing. Way to boil it down, Jacob. I hope you keep a better attitude about our current mission. <laughs> Don't worry. This is exactly what I signed on for. If that's all, Commander, I'll get back to my duties. There's a lot to get ready. Alright, cool. And, and the investigate options with Jacob are relatively similar to something... Um, what you just covered. We just covered his career highlight. Um, wait, actually, let's go back. Um, Commander, can I help you with something? Like service after the alliance, we already covered that. So opinion of the group, you can. I understand you made quite an impact after you left the alliance. <laughs> like I said, it was where I met Miranda and got scouted by Cerberus. It took us out to the Nemean Abyss and back, saved the Citadel from a Batarian bioweapon. Yeah. The whole thing was hushed, like they're good at doing. But I know what I did, and I'm proud of it. Fair enough. So thoughts on the mission? How we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? If Morden's modifications hold up, we've got a shot. If they don't, we're dead. Seems like that was always a strong possibility, though. That's true. Anything else, Commander? Thoughts on the mission? How we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? If Morden's Wait, modifications what? hold... Anything else, Commander? Oh, opinion of the crew. What do you think of the state of the crew? Well, we don't have a full complement. We don't stand a chance without the right specialists on side. True enough. Anything else, Commander? No, no. We'll talk later. Commander. All right, cool. All right, that's Jacob done and dusted for now. So let's head to the tech lab that is now unlocked and where Modin will reside throughout this mission. And before we talk to him, though, let's investigate the research terminal. So we have three prototypes for review. We can do advanced training. Yeah, so we can select any bonus power and we can upgrade the heavy weapon armor ammo capacity. So let's do that. Other than that, I don't think we... Do we need a missile launcher? Or do we want to stick with the grenade launcher? Let's just stick with the grenade launcher for now. So let's increase our medical capacity. Only thing about this menu that I don't like is the fact that it, it sort of takes you back out when, after you click research. Which is a bit weird, but there you go. Trauma module as well. Don't know what it does, but... Good to have that. Weapon upgrade. So the only thing we apparently have here is... Assault rifle damage, but that's now done. And let's talk to Morden. Shepard, how can I help? Upgrades. Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. 
Okay, and I think that goes under the prototype, and this is a modern Omni tool, so that it makes him get 20% tech uh, damage extra, like I said. Boom. Shepard, how can I help? Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Sorry, I've done what I can. Focusing on studying collector tech now. Yeah, right, lap set up. Is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs. Destroyed most of them. Returned expensive one to Miranda. Nothing unexpected. Just right. need more samples. More collector data, tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. Alright, squad status. Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Alright, I want to talk about you. Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with. Plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular. Very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. Work in limited must facilities. Have been frustrating working on Omega with such a limited facility. No, loved it. Limited facility presents challenge. Save greatest number of people using limited resources. Security threats, right. gangs, mercenary groups add additional difficulty. Quite enjoyable. Plague stretched abilities to limit. Couldn't have asked for more. Also, enjoy saving people, of course. Helping the helpless, greater good, all that too. Nice retirement after SDG work complete. All right. And uh, SDG stands for Special Task Groups from the Solarian side. Tell me more about the Solarian Special Tasks Group. If you didn't know already. Organization. Clandestine. Handles difficult assignments with limited oversight. Recon, analysis, occasional wet work. Identify problems, have neutralization options ready should need arise. Model for Council Spectres based on Special Tasks Group. Very similar. How so? Similar in what way? Solarians lack numbers, brute strength, military prowess, have to rely upon stealth, intelligence. Agents trusted, given wide operative freedom. Spectre's similar, given goal, told to accomplish. Better. Mm, funded, I see that. <laughs> Didn't have to buy our own weapons. Oof. <laughs> Roasted. Okay. Um, any word from your assistant? Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. True enough. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. I see. All right. Well, tell me about the special tasks. You said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert. High risk. Served under young captain named Kirihi. Oh. Studied Krogan genophage. Took water. Tissue samples from Krogan colonies. We we know Kirihi from uh, from Vermeer in Mass Effect One. I worked with an STG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Burmire. Heard he was part of that. Jury rigged explosive. <laughs> Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. True Bit enough. Cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. <laughs> Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado. Jargon. Chest pounding. Uh, no offense. None taken. All right. Uh, reasons for studies. Why would STG study the genophage? Krogan rebellion's bloody. Dangerous. Nearly as bad as Rachni attacks. All species evolve, adapt, mutate. If genophage weakens, need to be prepared. In what way? What was the STG preparing to do? Military schematics for likely Krogan population growth. Political scenarios for attack points. Damn. Genophage reduced Krogan numbers. Species aggression unchecked. Population explosion would be disastrous. I mean, I STG suppose. STG helped check Krogan rebellions. Needed to be ready to do the same. Simple recon. Nothing to worry about. All right. Na nature of the genophage? What can you tell me about the genophage? Bioweapon designed by Solarian science team. Deployed by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago. Affects that we already every knew. cell of Krogan body. Commonly and incorrectly considered a sterility plague. Mm -hmm. Actually adjusts viable fertility rates to compensate for high Krogan birth rate. Stabilizes to pre-industrial population growth levels. I see. So from an outsider's perspective, it's like... Adjusted fertility rates, but for them because they were used to the high birth rate For them they think it's a fertility issue. Okay. Well, thanks for the chat mod in. I'll see you around the ship hopefully and good luck with figuring out how to Fight the collectors and especially the thing the bugs and how they freeze us and stuff. Nice talking with you Morden I should get back to work need to study so much data here if you need me. All right, cool Let's go downstairs then for oh Oh, sorry, wanted to sprint actually, not interact with the mini. One problem with the sprint button being the same, but, you know, still better that you can run when you're not in combat. Let's go down to crew quarters. 
Here we can talk to Miranda, we can deliver the ingredients to the mess gardener, and then also a bottle of brandy to <coughs> uh, Dr. Chakras. But before we do that, let's go to port observation, which is now open, because this room is now Rokusumi, and look at this room. There's a bar here opened and stuff, and Kasumi sort of chills here. I don't know if he actually, well, I guess this is his quarters, so when the bar closes, the bar is closed. <laughs> People are talking out there, and I hear it all. All right. I really appreciate your help with the Hawkeyes. You're welcome. I've been going through Keiji's gray box. It's so nice to have him back, even in that form. I miss him. I can imagine. I usually travel hidden away in cargo bays. It's nice to be able to look out a window for a change. That's true. So, immersive view. Um. And you get to ask him about the paintings and stuff, but uh, we can do that maybe another episode if you guys want. You know, we, she's going to tell you about how she stole that and how she stole did that and so on. Interesting, but for the sake of the episode, I don't want to make it too long. Usually these chat episodes with the crewmates tend to go a, a quite a long duration and I like to avoid that. So in that case, let's move on. And here we are. Let's talk to Dr. Chakras. How may I help you, Commander? I've got you your brandy. I have a present for you, Doc. Sarah's ice brandy? You didn't. <laughs> Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle when I still could. Mm -hmm. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here? Right now. You and me. All right, let's do it. You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins' back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, That was awesome! Aw, oh, rip Jenkins. <laughs> oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. Um, so if you don't recall, Jenkins is uh, a crew member we had for less than one episode actually. We talked to him on the ship when we were headed to Eden Prime and he got deployed with us, with me, Caden and, uh, with me and Caden, yeah, that makes sense. And then he got shot by Geth drones and his adventure ended there. So this is something that probably happened before we went to Eden Prime or something like that, not sure. But why leave the Alliance? With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Yeah. Often they die. And if I can help them, they move on. By the way, they leave. So you're lonely? Don't you have any friends or family? No, not lacking friendship. Just stability. Joker. I see. Joker will always have Vrolic syndrome. He would never admit it, but he needs my help, and he always will. I That's true. I words, but sadly, it's true. Treating Joker gives you a kind of stability. So does this ship, even if it's a copy. Or, hell, maybe it's you. Maybe. Shepard, our removable center. A place for a person to stop and catch her breath. Or maybe I'm just happily drunk. Would it hurt if it was simple like that for once? Nope. There's our toast. Here's to simply being happily drunk. I'll drink to that. Some things never change, I guess, and I hope they never will. Alcohol with limited usage is a fun practice especially social gatherings and look at this we are waved and looks like she's even more waved laying down on the medical bed <laughs> hey yo did you hear another colony went missing ferris fields ferris fields didn't hadley have a brother stationed there yeah he's taking it pretty hard i can imagine well the effects were off already damn strip can drink all right gardener i got you commander those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. Oh, sh I've he already, already has them. thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. Sure, why not? True 
truth told, it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. Anyway, <laughs> thanks again. You really came through. You're welcome. Don't mention it. Do, do what's needed for the crew. Alright, Miranda, what's up? Commander, what can I do for you? You have any Normandy upgrades? Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Here, take a look. Okay, what, what is it? Ship enhancements. Advanced mineral scanner. Okay, that, that is useful. That is useful. Come there on. you go. What can I do for you? Interestingly enough though, he, she is one of the only companions in Miranda where that option goes away the moment you upgrade it. While as for others, you have to like do it again and then it goes away. Anyway, can we talk? Oh, sorry. You want to there? Can we talk? Do you have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. All right. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. Thanks. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Maybe that's because I'm not Cerberus? Maybe that's because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Not to you, maybe. But I report directly to the elusive man. And I'm here because he wants me to be. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. Why should I? What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Alright, she's opening up. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. Damn. My father created me. That's kind of messed up. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. How angry was he? How bad were the terms you and your father parted on? Shots were fired. <laughs> like, assume that's not roasting shots for actual bullets. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his investments. I see. So Cerberus appreciates you? I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They really? see the bigger picture. And I feel like I have a purpose here. Well then... It's nice that you feel like you have a purpose, but Cerberus has been called... Terrorist and worse, according to Jacob, so... But where's your mother in all of this? You told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. What? How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. So... Miranda was grown in a lab? Huh? Damn. Your father sounds fucked up. Who exactly is your father? A businessman. But a very wealthy one. I it's see. Ironic. My father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus before I joined them. That's mm. how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. I wonder if calling someone a businessman is a way of saying that they're criminal organizations. Anyway, self esteem. Talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are Fair who enough. you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. That's not what defies you. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. You're welcome, alright, till next time. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. Looks like um, she's not as cold as she was when we first met her, which is uh, good news. Okay, let's go down... Oh, kind of stuck on the elevator there. To engineering. Where we have Zaid, and then... Currently, that's about it, but um, I'll show you his room like I did Kasumi's, which is starboard cargo. This is where he this is where he sits. Pretty rough bed and all, but you know. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. 
You might learn something. Right, well, sure, why not? I was trying to remember how many Cerberus operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. Jeez. <laughs> Guess you're an elusive man's big on forgiveness. Could be. The reason why I'm talking to him is because I like his accent a lot. Get a knife stuck in the right way, and you can pull that plate right off a Krogan's head. It's the best way to get a Krogan to talk. The threat of it drives him mad. Hmm. <laughs> I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Alright. So we can also come back here at some point and if we have the time in another episode too, inspect and ask them. Oh, Jesus, sorry. And I say it or consume you. What each of the pieces in the room mean. Reinforcements really threw off the gravimetric profiles, but engines are good to go. I rebalanced the Gilborn coefficients and adjusted the anterior intakes on the second tier stabilizers. All right. I love it when you talk dirty. <laughs> You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. Nice. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some Skillion Five poker. Want to join us? Come on, Kenneth. The commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. I'll play. Sure, Actually, why not? That sounds interesting. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. <laughs> Go easy on the new guy. My Skillion Five's a bit rusty. It'll be easy on the rookie, right? Of course, Commander. It's all friendly. Yeah, right. You won 500 credits playing Skillion 5 poker. <laughs> Got your ass. Be gentle on the rookie. I can't believe we fell for that. It's so worth losing to see you taken down a notch. <laughs> at my own game. You're all right, Shepard. All right, cool. Enjoy the free time. Sure, we'll come in handy. And with that, the current ship tour or the report from the crew is done. We have no other people on our ship. Next episode, I think we're going to go back to Omega, recruit Archangel and see whoever the he is. And because he seems like a useful guy to have around if three Merc bands are trying to take him down. Afterwards, I guess we'll leave the Omega system and try to traverse the rest of the galaxy, see where the other people are who we have to recruit and go on like that. So to end the episode, I'll just feed the fish, say hi to Squeaky again. And with that, I'd like to say that thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, do leave a like, and I'll see you when I see you.